Love is a Uzbek national dish made of rice, meat, vegetables, and sunflower oil all cooked together in a wok called a kazan. So what a kazan is, is the traditional Uzbekistani pot that is made of cast iron. And of all the kazans and all over the world, this one is the biggest. First step of the pilav, you take all this meat that has been cut up by the master pilav chef and put it in the sunflower oil to get it nice and crispy. Now we have just put in the orange carrots and the yellow carrots. Now what are yellow carrots? They're just like orange carrots, but yellow. Okay, I am here with Mertomar, who is a master pilav chef. Now I want to ask you a question. What is the most important thing that needs to be in the pilav to make it good? He's saying a chef. The chef! <laughs> <laughs> so you know when you add salt or pepper to your dish, it's like a little sprinkle, not with the biggest dish. You've got this. This is just the pepper. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. We've seen pictures of this before we came, but you don't realize the sheer magnitude of how huge this dish is until you see it in person. Now we're adding the chickpeas. Now the raisins to give it a little sweetness. What's incredible here is that even though it's one big dish and you think it's just everything's cooking together, there are little sections in there that need to cook at different temperatures. Hence the reason he put the pot on top of the chickpeas because it needs more humidity to be able to cook at the same time as the meat and the vegetables that is underneath. It's not just stuff getting thrown at a pad. There is a technicalities to this. There is a science to this. Yes, science. So Master Chef Merkomel, what's it like to make the same dish every day? I don't know what's called it. I love what I do. Like it's not boring for me. You know, it's something that I, I have a passion for. It. Maybe that's why he says the chef is the most important thing. So pilaf generally takes around three to four hours to cook. So now he's got everything sizzling there. We're gonna leave that for about an hour and come back. So what is the ideology behind pilaf? If you think about the area that we're in, Uzbekistan, the Silk Road, there was a lot of trade happening. There was a lot of movement happening. There were people who couldn't stop to eat three meals a day. So they needed one meal that had all the nutrition and would give them all the energy they needed for the day ahead. So when you think of pilaf, you think it's got carbs, it's got fats, it's got protein, all the things that they need, all the nutrition they need to work and to move as long as possible. And now the final ingredient added to the mix and that is the rice. He's actually measuring it, distributing it, obviously because he's done it for so long, it looks so easy, but he's measuring it every time he puts it in. Salt Bay, you have competition. Ooh. He is spreading the rice evenly across the dish. So now that the pans are on top of the pilaf, it needs a couple of hours to cook. So pomegranates are in season. We're gonna have some juice. Ah, oh, feeling refreshed, feeling awesome. And more importantly, feeling ready for that pilaf. I'm starting to get impatient now. I really want to eat. All right, so now the meat has been brought over here to the cutting station and they chop it up finely. They mix in the meat with the fat. So it's got that healthy balance. So this whole restaurant centers around pilaf. That is all they serve. And thousands of people are starting to gather here to enjoy the daily pilaf. And that is why it's cooked in bulk. So the garnish that I'm gonna have is the quail eggs, normal eggs, and some vine leaves. Now is the moment of truth. The moment we've all been waiting for, the moment I have been waiting for. My first bite of Uzbek Padov. Bismillah. It is absolutely incredible. It has a sweetness that mixes beautifully with the meat and the rice. And this should be on like the top 10 things you have to eat in your lifetime. Now we're gonna stop the video for a second so we can indulge. We'll see you in a second. Alhamdulillah, we are feeling good, we are feeling happy, and that was an incredible meal. Now we just spent five hours in this restaurant watching one meal being made. And when you think about when you go to regular restaurants, they have all these different variety of dishes that you can choose from. Whereas pilav seemed like all these different varieties brought into one dish. And it's a dish that has so much history and so much culture behind it when you think about the area that we're in. And that's why this dish is made with so much love, is held with such honor, because it's bigger than just food. Much pilav.
and God bless. I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> so as you can see, we have been through quite a bit to get this video made. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to us. Much love and blessings. Where are you going? <laughs>